It's beautiful out here. You know? The birds are singing. The squirrels are getting some food. There's not a child in sight. We're the only ones in this park made for children. You know why that is? TikTok. So TikTok is back in the news because Congress is trying to ban it. If you have seen clips of that, you'll know how funny it is. Mr. Chu, does TikTok access the home Wi-Fi network? Only if the user turns on the Wi-Fi. I, I'm sorry, I may not understand the So if I have a TikTok app on my phone and my phone is on my home Wi-Fi network, does TikTok access that network? It will have to, to get access to the network to get connections to the internet, if, if that's the question. Well, it once started as a uh, pretty wholesome app, you know, you had Charlie D'Amelio dancing, you had, uh, you had skits. Now, it's a wasteland. You got scammers, thirst traps, and pedophiles. Yeah, you heard me right. Pedophiles. I'm not afraid of that word. I'll say it. They're on that website, app, whatever you want to call it. They're after your kids. There's no kids here. Can we get a can we can we get a, a look at the park, please? All right, so we're gonna bring it back. I mentioned scammers, and uh, no surprise, TikTok is full of them. If you ever been to the live section, um, some of them are okay. You know, some are just some some dad playing truck simulator. You know, it's okay. But then you keep scrolling, and some of the some of the live streams are are sus, sus at best. Oh my God! Oh my God! I thought. Let's go! Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> let's go, girls! Let's go! Come back, girls! Let's go! Oh my God! Oh my God! Girls, win! Boys, lose! Easy win, girls! E A lot of the videos are pre-recorded and re-uploaded over and over and over again at TikTok, just scamming you out of your money, and not just your money. The kids' money. The kids who aren't in this park right now. The kids who are at home spending money on TikTok live streams. And not just the scammers, the thirst traps. To explain what a thirst trap is, you know, it, it, it's a it's a beautiful woman. We made an account. Okay, we wanted to see. How easy it is to like get to the you know more saucy rated content on TikTok, and to do that, all you needed was an email. An email. That's all it was. I literally made an email off Gmail in like maybe three minutes. Then put the email in. Boom. I'm 18 years old. You know what the name of that account is? I'm a kid, by the way. Hee <laughs> hee. The hee hee is part of it. I'm a kid, by the way. Hee <laughs> hee is my name. Um. I'm a kid, by the way, was taken. Do with that information what you will. So what was the last one? Uh, scammers, thirst traps, violence. violence, the violence. So we're gonna have a cutaway real, real quick. And um, just, just to tell you what it's about, there was a moment, I think it was December 16th, 22nd, something like that. And it was it was a day to remember. I was on TikTok that day. If anyone else was, let me know. It was called the Slideshow Incident. And um, I'll just let, I'll let these fine folks talk about it. December 22nd, 2022. A day that I would like to forget. A day everyone 
would like to forget. But I, I won't be able to. It all started that morning. Got up like any other morning. Make a cup of coffee, use the restroom, text some of my friends, see what's going on in the day. I wasn't prepared for what was about to happen. You know, sit on the porch, enjoy my cup of coffee. I, I like to peruse social media, you know, see what's going on in the world. I do my usual routine. I check Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And lastly, I like to get on TikTok to start my morning off with some funny videos. And that's when it all took a turn. I saw things images, videos, these slideshows that shook me to my core. And frankly, it's something I wish I never saw. I saw things that people my age shouldn't have been able to see, nor should they have wanted to see. Do I regret getting on TikTok that day? Of course, who wouldn't after what I saw? If only they did something sooner. What would you have done? What, what did you see? <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. I saw... I saw the worst of it, I feel like. I saw people getting dismembered. I saw people dying. Every slideshow start off funny, you know, little memes, little pictures that you can just swipe, swipe through. But at the end of each one, lied such a darker message, a little dark undertone. I saw death, I saw violence. I saw male pornography. Some of my friends were fortunate enough to see not the worst of it. They saw, you know, at least they were able to see stuff that they enjoyed, perhaps, but not for me. I saw penises, I saw male ass, I saw people dying. Things that you shouldn't see at seven o'clock in the morning. And I regret it, every minute of it. Lots of people hated that day, but... My favorite thing I saw was this one, uh... I mean, you only see something like. So, violence on TikTok, it's not unheard of. You know, there's been incidents before, but this one was real bad. Some people, you know, saw pornography. Some people saw, like, violence, mutilation. Personally, I saw, like, just gore. It was terrible. Like, you know, people's breaking bones, people, things getting cut off people. It's horrible. I'm not, I'm not going to mask it. And, you know, that felt like a real slip of, like, how'd that happen? It was just for one day, too. Like, you couldn't even, like, make that up. But, um, no, violence on TikTok, it, again, it's probably one of those things that is being, you know, not talked about, but, um, because all we're talking about is, I guess, the point of the Congress, we're talking about, like, you know, how they're taking our information and all that, but they need to be talking about how it's regulated, you know, any kid can make an account, any kid can be whatever age they want to be, but, um, let's move on, all right. We're back. It's, it's really a beautiful day, you know. I mean, look at them. I think they're doing, like, photography classes or something. Man, that's dope. I'm over here sitting on a bench. Like some some weirdo. Alone in a park. Actually, not alone. It's a two-man operation here. Oh, yeah. So, let's get back to what we were saying. You know, when I, when I did this, 
it was really about like, man, how compromised is this app to children? That was like a big question I had. I mean, they got blown out of the water for me, like how dangerous it is to them. But um, a big point of contention for a lot of people is just how many predators, pedophiles, I'm not afraid of the word, I'll say it. I'll say, I'll say it to shout them out. Those predators, man. They're all, they're all out there. There's one guy, seems like Beauty Beyond the Eye. It's a real goofy looking guy. He got, he has like, an app that gets rid of his wrinkle or um, a filter that gets rid of his wrinkles on his eye and he does dances in his dad's bathroom it's so funny let's pull one up right right here dude does dances in his dad's bathroom it's honestly comedic but uh he's been exposed multiple times if you go into his lives it's literally just pedo pedo comment pedo pedo hey i like your dance pedo gotta watch out for that one person who said i like your dance he will get you and then, uh, but yeah, it's, it's one of those things where you're like, how do you fix it? But also don't make your app so accessible to children. One more thing. We were going to move locations. You know, we started over there at that bench. Now we're here. It's my favorite spot. I feel all cute hanging here, but, um, really want to hit on the fact that the app itself helps lure, lure, lure kids, you know, through, uh, through allowing the predators to be like yo guys i'm hip too i'm i'm, I'm, I'm a kid too let's let's put on filters together haha <laughs> whatever you do with that app i don't really know uh but it really is shocking that they are allowed to just gross an audience like that so easily but um you know it's terrible hopefully they do something about it because it's still a problem every day but um you know congress will congress will do something about it Congress will fix it. Yep. They fix everything. But um, but, but I want to go back to something we, we said earlier. You know, about your kids, the kids, putting money into the system. Let's go over that, let's go over that monetary system real quick. So, so the way they do it, you know, it's, it's a mobile app. It's an app. So uh, your money isn't really the money you use. First, you gotta turn it into coins, which you turn into little plushy animals or balloons or, you know, it's roses. Roses are the big one, I think. Roses are the big one. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know if you know this, but that makes it very, very, very enticing to kids. Kids love that shit. They love roses. <laughs> They love roses. They love, uh, I mean, to those uh, predators, they love, those predators give kids roses. But, uh, you know, there's a, a whale, I think it's like 10 bucks or something. But, like, you just have these streams, and I'll put, a, I'll put a clip up. It, it's like, guys, give me roses, give me roses. It's like a million roses coming in. It, and you're like, wow, that's probably like 50 cents, but that's a lot of money. It's the kids, too. It's the kids. You got to watch out for that. But, uh, yeah, the monetary system is criminal. You know how criminal is? It's so criminal that me and my uh, me and my partner Sean. Did that pick up? I hope it did. It's so criminal. I hope y'all hear. I hope y'all hear that. Y'all do. A little bit. Maybe y'all hear it a little bit. Alright. It's so criminal. That me and my partner Sean, we made some TikToks. You know, uh, before, before we get into it, I just want to say, I'm not good at making the TikToks. I think the system, the in-app editing system, is stupid. It's dumb. It makes no sense. So mine are a little bad. We'll show, we'll show some of Sean's. Sean's are better than mine. But uh, let's see those now. I mean, at least make it realistic. No one's getting a freaking 65 in 10 seconds. <laughs> Trust. 
We are back. We have switched seats again. You can actually see the park now. It's beautiful. We showed it to you earlier. But uh, yeah, this this has not made me feel like the passenger princess that I felt like on the other one. I feel I feel confined. I feel squeezed, just like TikTok squeezes people with addiction. But due to addiction, you know, we we were gonna do some experiments. We wanted to see. Am I, am I swinging too much? I'm good. So we, we wanted to like do a census of all of our friends. Hey man, go into your battery. See how much um see how much battery life you use on TikTok daily. So uh mine came out to forty two percent. Yeah, forty two percent of my battery a week, TikTok. That's terrible. I feel I felt terrible. I use it less now. Uh, how much was yours? Fifteen percent. Not nearly as bad, but uh, we asked a couple of our friends. You know, the average is around 15, 20 percent. You know, but uh, for some, I've seen some horrendous things. I've seen 60. You know, my girlfriend, 40. That's 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 it's almost as bad as me. But um, and I think the addictive nature of it just comes from the swiping. Swipe, new video, new video, the dopamine, the rush, and you know. It's because you're looking for that gold mine. You're like, man, trash, trash, trash. <gasps> Funny. Trash, 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 trash. Funny. And, you know, I think it's one of those things where they hit it right on the head with how to perfectly do it. Instagram almost had it. I think Instagram was close. But TikTok, that was my phone falling in my pocket. TikTok, they have it down. They know how to make it addictive. Uh, if it's addicted to me, a 21-year-old man. You can, you can bet your bottom dollar addicted to the children too um we actually have some interviews with uh, a real person you know no bit no bits here this is a real person and they wanted to talk about their experience with tiktok So, you know, in the mission of making this informative, I really wanted to you know, get some professional opinions. I did. I, I emailed people, but uh, you know, I'm a random, I'm a random dude. I don't hold much water, so I didn't get any responses. But one dude, one dude responded. And he was like, "Hey, man, you're, you're putting in God's work, fighting TikTok." And I was like, "Thank you, bro. That's what you said. Promise." But uh. I was like, hey, can you give me a statement? Oh my God, a statement would be so cool if you give me that. He was like, yeah, man, I got you. So a week, a week later, I didn't get anything. And then uh, I, I, I double texted him. I double texted this professional uh, professional dude in the social media world. And he sent me a link to his article. I'll show on screen just because, uh, man, you, you did me dirty on that one. So here's the article. But... The message I really want to get to 
is that TikTok is it's a it's a great app. You know, you get some comedy out of it, but it's dangerous. I'm I got, I'm a not very serious guy, you know, but I can I, I can say it when I see it. It's really not the safest place for kids in a in a very literal sense. Like, not only are they being exposed to, in my opinion, content that they really shouldn't see. But they're exposed to people that they really don't want to meet. They they shouldn't associate with. And I feel like that's the point of this. The point is to get the message out. Use TikTok at your own discretion. It's fun. Trust me, it's funny. My For You page, it's better than yours. I can promise you that. But I've seen some things. The kids have seen some things. See, that kid left. He was here. There was a kid here. But he's probably on TikTok now. But at the end of the day, it's about the kids, people. Please think about the kids. But to finish this video up, I just want to say, use TikTok. It's fun. You know, it, it can be fun. But discretion is needed. You should be safe with it. The kids should be safe with it. If you're a parent, I don't know if TikTok's the right place. Coco Melon's on Netflix. But, you know, we just want to get that message out to y'all. This has been us, and we thank you for your time. Have a good day.